August Wilson's Jitney, which takes a look at unlicensed Pittsburgh cab drivers in the 1970s, is about to make its long-awaited Broadway debut at Manhattan Theatre Club. We are here in rehearsal to find out more about the new production. For people who don't know, give me a, just a little taste of what Jitney is about. Yeah, well, on the surface, what it's about is a group of men in Pittsburgh in 1977 who run a, a Jitney station, a, basically a cab station. Uh, and it's about them fighting to hold on to their little piece of Pittsburgh as like gentrification and urban renewal and redevelopment sort of starts to take hold of the city. It's about human beings and human nature and humanity. It's what it's really about. Fathers and sons trying to reconcile, young lovers trying to uh, come together and create a life for themselves. But at the heart of it, I really believe Jitney is about love. Love for yourself, love for your people. You have a long history with this play. What is it like to be back in Jitney? A bit of a dream because I'm in a, in a, in a center, I think, of a punctuation of, of this man's life. An incredible playwright. I am honored to be in the uh, last one of August Wilson's plays to make it to Broadway. Why I had to do Jitney was because it hadn't been to Broadway and I wanted to complete and put the final jewel in his crown. What does it mean to you to have this show on Broadway? Spiritually, uh, there's a fulfillment. I became an actor because of August Wilson. Um, so to actually have the opportunity to do this play, Jitney, uh, and do it on Broadway is, is an honor. I feel like I've been waiting for this for a long time. I've loved this play for years, so I'm just so thrilled to be a part of its debut on Broadway. You have assembled such a group of actors who have so much history and experience with August Wilson. Tell me about doing that. that I wanted to assemble the finest actors I could assemble uh, and put them on stage and, and let August be the star and let us all support his incredible light. And it, this is really a treat. And the, the best part of this whole process will be on stage with these guys every night. I, I can't wait for that. I can't wait. It's incredible to be in a room with this group of artists who have been, a, you know, the custodians of this work really for such a long time. You know? There's a lot of advice that's given out in Jitney. What's your favorite piece of advice in the play? I love when Young Blood says, it says, you stay out of my business and I stay out of yours. You know? So I think that's probably the best advice that, that we can give, uh, you know, especially in today's climate, is like, mind your business. Mind your own business. That comes up a lot. <laughs> everyone getting in everyone else's business. If you find yourself up in a tree, the only thing you can do is jump down to the ground. But before you jump, you got to figure out how you got up there in the first place. Living black ain't easy, but being black sure feels good. <laughs> Don't lie. <laughs> because a liar doesn't know the truth and never will. What do you want audiences to take away from this production? That we all bleed red. That we're all the same. At this time right now in the United States, it seems to be uh, people over here, people over there, people over there. But we bring them all together to sit in the dark while we're in the light and we share some love with them. And then hopefully that can bring us all together.